Hello everybody, today we are going to learn the effect of heat energy. So we will start with part one. When a small amount of heat is absorbed or lost, what will happen to the metal? When a small amount of heat is absorbed, all metal will experience an expansion. It means an increase in size or increase in volume. Vice versa, when a small amount of heat is lost, all metal will experience contraction. It's a decrease in size or decrease in volume. And we need to take note of different metals, they will expand or contract of different volume even when they absorb the same amount of heat or they lost the same amount of heat. And next point, for the same amount of heat or the same rise in temperature, gas will expand more than liquid and liquid will expand more than solid. Vice versa, when the same amount of heat is given out, solid will contract lesser than liquid and liquid will contract less than gas. Okay, next part. Let's look at two examples. First one, if I have a metal ring and a metal ball, the diameter of the ball is just nice to pass through the metal ring at room temperature, let's say 25 degrees Celsius. When I use warm water at 60 degrees Celsius to warm the ball up for a few minutes. And after that, when I take out the ball, I try to let it pass through the ring again, it will stuck. So that's the first experiment. This experiment shows us when a small amount of heat is absorbed by the metal ball, its volume increases. So originally it can pass through the metal ring, but now it cannot. And second experiment is if I'm heating up some liquid using a flask or using a beaker, what we observe is the level of liquid will drop first and then will rise up again. Reason being, when a small, small amount of heat is absorbed, the volume of the flask or the beaker will increase first. In a larger beaker with same volume of the liquid, the water level will drop. And after that, when the liquid inside absorbs a small amount of heat, as we know that for same temperature rise, liquid expand more than solid. So the increase of the volume of the liquid is more than the increase of the volume of the flask. And that's why the water level rise up again. So for common atoms, for most of the metals, when temperature increase or when heat is absorbed, the volume will increase. When temperature decrease or when heat is lost, the volume will decrease. But as I say for common, there's a special thing, our pure water. Pure water has a measure number of four degrees Celsius. From four to hundred, when temperature goes up, or when heat is absorbed, volume will go up. From four, from zero Celsius to four, when temperature go up, instead of volume increase, it volume decreases. So the four is a magic four degrees Celsius is a magic number for pure water. It has the smallest volume and in other way, we can say as highest density.